Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn with Dr. Shobha Nikam. In this video, we will talk about difference between Millet machine and Moore machine. Both are finite state machines. It means they go through finite number of states. So here, the basic difference is in Millet machine, output depends on present state. Present state is present output of memory elements that is flip-flops as well as present input so output depends on present state as well as present input so for single state there can be multiple outputs whereas in case of Moore machine here you can see output depends on present state only this is present state of memory element that is flip-flops so here See, output depends on present state and present state that is output of flip-flops depends on clock input. So, here in Moore machine output and state change are synchronous. Whereas, in case of Millet machine, output depends on present state as well as present input. So, output change is not synchronous to clock. It is asynchronous. Whenever input changes, output will change without waiting for clock so output is asynchronous but state change of course we are we have flip-flops so clock is mandatory input so state change is synchronous and because of that here it is synchronous and this is asynchronous output is asynchronous so Millet machines are faster and Moore machines are slower because they'll wait for clock input to change here to detect the output they won't wait for clock input to change so they are faster they are slower then here lambda is output function so here output depends on present state q indicates present state as well as present input so output is function of present state and present input whereas in moore machine output is Output depends on present state only. Then when we design circuit using Millet machine, then there are few number of states are required to design the circuit. Whereas for Moore machine, we need more number of states. So when we have more number of states, we need more number of flip-flops to design that circuit. And that is why when we have more states, we need more area on chip or more hardware is required whereas in case of Millet machine we need less number of states and that is why we need less area on chip or less hardware is required so see when we need less hardware we need to apply less power or power consumption is also less in case of Moore machine, hardware is more complex, so it consumes more power. Then see, when we design our circuit, see, this is state diagram for Millet machine and this is state diagram for Moore machine. See, basic difference is, here, output depends on present state. Here, S0 and S1 are two states. And to design same circuit, here we need three states. So here for this state if input is 0 left hand side of the slash is input and right side right hand side is 0 for if input is 0 output is 0 if input is 1 output is 0 and when correct bit will come it will jump to next state. So there are there are present states and then there is next state for S1 you can see if input is 0 output is 0 but if input is 1 output is 1 so for same state for S1 same state we have two outputs and hence one state is enough whereas in case of Moore machine here we write output below the state name so S0 is my state and 0 is output so if input is 0 it will remain in same state if input is 1 it will go to next state depends on whether correct bit is received or not but here you can see to detect 1 1 we need 3 states because for every state output is fixed for S1 output is already predicted as 0 so if 1 will come it has to go to next state here for 1 it it stayed in same state here it can't stay in same state because output is 0 but when it will detect 1 it's the output must be 1 
then next thing is here number of states in millet machine are generally same as length of the sequence so in case of sequence detector let's say sequence is 1101 number of bits are 4 1 2 3 and 4 then number of states will be 4 whereas in case of more machine to design for same sequence 1101 we need n plus 1 number of states so we need 5 states to design system for this sequence so just to summarize you need to remember in case of more machine output depends on present state so for every state output is fixed in case of Millet machine output depends on present state as well as present input and that is why they are asynchronous because as soon as input changes output also changes here they are synchronous so when they are synchronous they are slower here they are faster then when we need less number of state it means less amount of hardware is required to design the circuit here we need more hardware to design the circuit or you can remember from the name itself it more and more looks same so in more machine more hardware more power consumption more number of states they are slower and here it is exactly opposite so in this way you can differentiate Millet machine and Moore machine thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you feel this video is really helpful then do share it with your friends and don't forget to like it. Thank you.